Good morning and be fruitful. My name is Success in Samulandovu and I reside at Winnie Mandela Zone 5. My testimony is about career breakthrough. Uh, in the year 2022, after graduating, I'll get invited for interviews, but then after that, I'll get ghosted or not uh, receive a positive uh, response. Then I first heard of this ministry uh, early this year on January. I, I think it was a launch, but then I couldn't come. I first came here in uh, April on the 14th. That's where the man of God was teaching about the eggs and the head. If I mentioned that, you know, uh, some of us, we get deceived by the weight of the handle then uh, just to see that you know god is not with you like you won't get any results at all so i uh, prayed for me on that day and after the day i went home i meditated on that word you know like the fruits and so on and after that it was two days after the service the sunday service i got a call from uh mira consulting they're saying that i'm invited for an interview on the 18th of april uh, for the graduate program on the 18th i went for an interview and of which it went well uh, one of the ladies that was interviewing me she said you know I love you, and even if I don't take you, please know that you are the best. And I took that word very seriously. I was like, wow, God, what are you doing? Then uh, after that, in the evening, they said my interview went well. I was successful. I'm supposed to start working on the, uh, on the third, of which they later postponed to the, the 6th of May. I came on a service again on a Sunday. Usually when uh, the man of God is busy praying for people in the church, like the media team will always encourage us, you know, we should uh, pray inside our hearts, you know. So like whenever he, sp he spoke with several people, which had similar issues with what I was having. And as he was uh, speaking with them, I had it in my heart. I said, no, God, I also partake from the same grace. Then while I was still on that, on the 23rd of April, I received a call inviting me for an interview at one of the Tibet colleges in Cape Town. Then uh, after their call, like uh, from there, I attended uh, another service, which was the fruit, uh, fruit of the of the womb service. And in that service, that's where you know I saw that God, you know, is doing wonders in this place because one of the ladies uh, testified that you know she applied for a car, and it was rejected. And after that, she had an encounter with the man of God and like everything went well and after that service it was on the first of uh april of may yeah on sunday of the 6th of uh may i came i printed out the, the, the entire application which i sent to the tibet college in cape town of uh, which uh later during the service uh, during the mass prayer the man of god uh, called me out and I quickly took out those documents and I commanded out of your life, commanded, commanded, commanded out of your career, commanded out of your marriage, commanded out of your life, commanded out of your family, continue to command it out, lift up your voice and command that hand of darkness out, command it out of your life, command it out, continue to command it out. Of a prayer, 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 wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Of a prayer, continue to put a demand on the anointing. He didn't say any word, but then usually when he prays for people or speak with them, he will always say, you will come back with a testimony. So I had the same attitude and I also had the same mindset, you know, that I'm going to come back with a testimony. On the 10th of, uh, of May, of which I was supposed to attend that interview, which was postponed to the 18th, I actually received a call out of nowhere. And they saying, uh, I got a job. And to my surprise, let me mention that I applied for the post in March. And two weeks after, I got rejected. They said I wasn't successful for that job. 
Then on, that, on the 10th, they called me saying, uh, you got the job. I said, oh, okay. Let us clap our hands beautifully for the Lord Jesus. So on Monday, on the 13th, I attended the interview for the Tivet College in Cape Town, of which I believe it went well because uh, later in that day, they sent me some documents which I had to fill in for qualification verification. And after I've filled in and submitted, two days after, they've called me saying uh, they want to book me to go for fingerprints. And normally in government, when they call you for fingerprints, they usually call the first three candidates. On the 14th, I attended the training. And I must say, like, uh, the post, it was, it's for internal sales admin clerk of which uh, I did sales at school, but then I've never, I don't have any experience to in that particular field. So they uh, trained me of the first two days. Then on the third day, they said, uh, you're doing well. And then that's where they offered me a contract, a permanent position, and I went for fingerprints. Clap your hands beautifully for the Lord Jesus. What they are offering on this one is three times uh, what the graduate program was supposed to offer. Yesterday, I received another email. Uh, the email I got it yesterday around 9 p.m. It's from a UK-based company of, uh, inviting me for an interview for the remote work. Let us clap our hands beautifully. You can clap louder than that. I only attended three Sunday service and one Wednesday service. What I can say is that I'm excited. You know, this is huge in my life because like now I will be able to do things which I couldn't do before. I can afford things I couldn't afford. So it's a huge breakthrough. My word of advice is in Second Chronicles 2020, the last line, believe in his prophet and you shall prosper. And the man of God always uh, teaches us that, you know, we shouldn't change the test, uh, the, the confession. So despise, despite what you're going through, never change the confession. Amen. Let us clap our hands for the Lord Jesus Christ.